everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and today we have that pink bag again uh, it is Nadine West and Nadine West is a subscription um, clothing service um, clothing and accessories um, so they can fix your fashion if like me you don't have any real fashion sense so anyways, um, it says I could give up shopping, but I'm not a quitter. My husband wishes I was. All right, especially since starting this channel. Although he is very much in support of this, he's wishing it was kinder to our bank account. Okay, let's get into it. This one's a heavy one, and it is the full. See what they sent. Let's get a sip of coffee. <sighs> mm. Oh my goodness. There's a couple things in here. At least. Right, let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, the first time there was only one little bundle wrapped up. Well, this one wants to come open. They wrap these little bundles in some pretty pink tissue paper. We're gonna start with the first one because it's already coming undone. It was supposed to be stuck together with this little pink sticker, but you know what? It is so over full, it escaped. It ripped loose. All right, wow, guys, there's a lot of things here. All right, what do we have first? I gotta be careful because sometimes they wrap things up in the clothes. All right, did they change my size? They did, they changed it from the 2X to a 1X and let's hope the 1X isn't too big. All right, we are looking at another one of those little cardigan style um, shirts. It's got some spandex and it's more of a t-shirt weight. Um, with looks like maybe maybe it's long sleeve maybe it's three quarters um probably long sleeves that's a really pretty color i like it sort of a um light mauvey purple um i'm liking it the color um trying to see what they have if they had a name on it yeah dark mauve really they consider this dark mauve i I consider it a light dusty mauve color all right so that's first i'm willing to try everything on for you first we're going to just look and see what there is the next item is a tie-dye a pastel tie-dye shirt hmm. by hippie chick And it is, um, um, I'm not sure if this is like a rayon or what it is. It, but it does have a little bit of a fleece lining, but it's like a kind of a silkier feeling than a, it's not like a traditional um, feeling um, sweatshirty material. All right, again, I'm gonna try these on in a minute. It's pretty. It's got. Um, pink and blue and yellow tie-dye. Looks like it may be a little short in the waist and I don't like anything that doesn't come all the way down. Um, I want to hide my belly apron where I lost all that weight. All right, let's get this off of here. Look in the next little bundle, big bundle. Oh, guys. Look at the collar. This is pretty. Of course, I can't see it from the front. You guys can, I cannot. All right. Okay. Let's see. Pretty collar. What color do they call this? Desert Rose. Oh, I do like that color and look. There's other things in this color. 
kind of color. This has it. That's really pretty. It's really soft. This is more, um, again, I wish it said on here what they're made of. Um, this is definitely not the least bit stretchy. So if it doesn't fit, there's no give. Um, but this, however, it feels like it has spandex in it. That's why I have it. And that's Hippie the Chick from Ohio also. But it's also uh, much more narrow. So it's going to show every bit of extra skin and roll. And, um, and that's a shame because I really like it. So we'll have to see what it looks like on. Love it. Love the colors, love the the print. Sorry, I'm trying to get a hold of it and hold it up for you. So, get it close so you can see the roses on there. I like that. This is some kind of pants. Leggings type deal. And it's got like a black waistband that has um, elastic and a drawstring. And at the bottom, it's got the black cuff, and it's a very, um, it feels like it may have spandex also. Pretty, pretty print. Um, it would go with this okay, probably. It's probably what it intended was intended to go with. So we'll try those on together. Would not go with this. All right, in my opinion. All right. Next bundle. Oh, well, there goes the paper. I was trying not to rip it in case I needed to send a bunch of it back. I don't know what the total is, but you know, it's going to be more than I want to or can spend, more than likely. All right, try and be careful that I don't dump, if there's jewelry or anything, accessories, and I don't want to dump it out. This is nice. Also got some spandex to it. It's in a light gray, um, three-quarter length sleeve, long tunic. Try those on for you. <laughs> this is a pair of jeggings. And what I was making that face over is <laughs> the distressed. Now, when I was a kid, your mama, my mama, would have thrown this in the garbage and said, isn't it good enough to use for a rag? Now, they do this on purpose. They cut this up themselves and charge you more for a damaged product damaged on purpose and that is the trend that's what you know and i am going to try them on i don't own anything that looks like this on purpose actually the pair i have on at the moment it has some holes in it because they're old and i wear these to do things like craft and paint in because you know there's three places that i see that have it there's one here and one here and one here which is a little high up for me I would rather it not be where it's going to be showing my belly skin through any holes. Well, I'm going to try those on because, as I said, I don't have anything trendy like that. But I'm a 51-year-old grandma. So I'm not sure, you know, if it's for me or not. But I'm going to try them on because I might like them once I get them on. I don't know. I know my grandkids will be like, yes, finally, you, you know have something that's from this century. All right, a nice scarf. That's pretty. I'm not gonna open it all the way, but well, maybe. I think that's one of those ones that are, all right guys, this is one of those ones that are like sewed together. And I don't know how to work these right. So do you just put it on like that? I mean, what do you do with it? Somebody tell me how to wear this. Cause I don't even know. Do you just wrap it around a couple times like that? I don't know how to wear it. I was needing some, I was needing some assistance from one of you fashion people. But anyway, it's pretty bad when you need instructions on how to wear a scarf. 
All right, and uh, there was some extras, some, well, not extras, but you know what I mean, uh, accessories. Earmuffs. Neville's been neglecting his earmuffs. Harry Potter. You think they go like this. Yes, they have to go like that. Not a, like the traditional way, because if you try to do that, then it doesn't fit your ears. Those are cute. Those are cool. I might have to, or do they go this way? Will it fit the back of my head better this way? I think they're the same way either way. All right. Yeah, I do not own earmuffs, so. And I almost bought a pair of earmuffs. Made fuzz off of, <laughs> off of that scarf. It's like attacking me. I'm getting in my mouth. Um, almost bought a pair of uh, earmuffs similar to these. Well, the same kind of design, but... Um, they were made for little kids and they had like cats on them and I almost bought them and then I decided, you know, no, you're 51. You don't need that. But then I bought a, um, headband that has the ears and the horn yeah. because I was going to wear it for the debut of my new, um, recording studio and I forgot. All right, here is a necklace that is a little twisted up. Hmm. All right, Michelle, don't spend all day trying to unbronkify the... Okay, this necklace will drive me nuts. Okay, I got that one undone. Okay, well, there's some of it. Okay, looks like almost like little silver leaves. I don't know if you can see it very well. But I'm afraid that would drive my OCD wild because they want to not lay flat, so. That's probably not going to uh, stay with me because it, it's really triggering my OCD. Okay. Next, there is a pair of earrings that would get me in a lot of trouble. And the reason being that they dangle and that, can you imagine, I could have a cat swinging from my ear and ripping my earring out because they would move a little and yeah think of it like with a baby that would grab your earrings and yank yeah i have cats that would do the same but look they're pretty though i maybe i'll save them for you know going out um i don't have any dangly earrings so i don't know maybe I'll have to think about it and it depends on the price um i wear very tiny little diamond studs 99 percent of the time this is the pair i wear because the cats can't really get those and and i did tell them uh, nothing that dangles no earrings that dangle i've already had them break my uh, necklace from Nadine West a couple of times that I've had to fix that $25 long chain that I wear occasionally. These are kind of cute. I don't know if you can... There's... Oh, okay, let me get it closer. Here's this earring. If I can get it to... kind of it's kind of um got kind of a mesh chain like chain link looking mesh circle here and uh, it's interesting they are cute but I don't know again I don't know we will see I 
I'm likely to not keep the earrings or the necklace, but I will probably keep the earmuffs because, you know, the short hair. Um, and I will probably keep some of these clothes depending on if they fit me. So, if you will hold on just a minute, I will try something on and I'll be right back with you. I also have to move the camera around so that you can see me. All right. Okay, I'm not 100% sure if that was recording or if it cut off on me for, I mean, the camera shut down for no reason. So as I was saying, just in case, and I might have to edit this out, I like the shirt, the color of it and everything. Um, I'm just not sure about this issue that I have with all this extra, extra skin and everything. Um, you know, womp, womp. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure if I can keep it because of that. Um, I'm going to try to find some shapewear and see if there's anything that I can wear. Uh, so far, I've not found any shapewear that I can wear because of the nerve damage um, from all the surgical scarring that I have. It's like things that are rubbing like this pair of pants at the moment. It's like um, when your foot falls asleep and that knit pins and needles feeling, it's kind of like that all the time. So things that rub or are tight or whatever um, really cause that uncomfortable feeling. And so I haven't been able to find any shapewear that I can wear. Um, but I might try to find something because I do really like this shirt. Um, and I think it does make me look thinner than, um, but man, I'm really uncomfortable with that roll that's sticking out. Um, than my, you know, loose frumpy clothes that I like to wear to try to hide this. Um, what do you think about the torn up leggings? I may actually keep them, the air jeggings. I may actually keep them because they are cute and I don't have anything like that. But they are hitting high and tight around my around my non-existent waist there. So I'm not sure, but because they are stretchable, um, maybe they'll be okay. I'm gonna pause you and I'm gonna try on the next one. And this one's a definite nope. It has no give and it is too tight um, through here and all through here. So it's a nope. Although I think it's cute, it's nope. <laughs> all right, guys, this isn't actually a shirt. This is a dress. I have it over the leggings. Um, I don't wear dresses, really. I don't know if I would ever wear this. Um, it's got pockets. I mean, it's cute. It's cute. I'm just not sure it's for me. Um, but then I don't have a dress. I don't own a dress. So maybe I wouldn't wear it with this. That is, you know, let's take these off and see what they look like, what it looks like without that. All right. Well, um, <sighs> would I wear it? Um, I'm just, I'm not comfortable in a dress, guys. I don't know. I need, I need your opinion. Again, I would need some kind of shapewear because I have all this tons and tons of skin. I mean, this is all just tons of extra skin that I have on me, um, which shows up, you know, I would have to definitely wear shapewear. Um, I see this as being something that you would want to wear when it's cooler uh, because it's the three quarter length sleeves, I would be probably hot to wear it any other time, but I don't have anything to wear to dress up and go out. So I'm not saying no, I'm saying, what is your opinion? I think it looks like a nightgown, but probably because I don't wear dresses. I mean, to put on a nice necklace. Um, it's plain and simple, which is definitely me. It's definitely comfortable. Um, and I said, like I said, it has the pockets. I mean, I can see wearing it as a nightgown, but I'm sure it's way too expensive to wear for a nightgown. I don't wear nightgowns. I wear pajamas. Um, <clears throat> tell me what you think it, you know, let me back up enough that you can see. It comes to my knees, um, a little bit below my knee. Um, can you see me? If I back all the way up, what do you think guys? Is it a no? Is it a, uh, give me your opinion. I need an opinion other than my own because my opinion is I don't wear dresses and it's not really me. But my opinion also is I have nothing to wear if I wanted to go 
you know, kind of dressed up, kind of a dress casual kind of deal. So give me your thoughts. Um, I can't really wear a belt with it that might kind of dress it up because I've got all this. Um, I don't like to show this to anyone, but see all this that I have, all this apron of skin. And I'm not going to have it cut off, guys. My health is not such that I can do a surgery like that. And what would be the point? Um, I'm, you know, not going to. My husband can't see me anyway, so. Um, and he already knows I've got this. So anyways, uh, let me know. Let me know what you think and I'll try on the next thing. Okay, so the next thing is another one of these kind of cardigans kind of things. This one's really long, so it comes down below the dress. I'm wondering, does that help any? I mean, I can't, I'm too far away now to see, and I don't have a full length mirror. Um, and I've got, you know, this necklace that kind of goes... Ugh, I don't know, guys. It's, I don't know. What do you think? I kind of like this cardigan better than the one they sent the last time because I wasn't as crazy about the color of the last one. Um, I don't know. This one might be, the other one seemed too big. This one might be a hair too small. Um, you know, as far as, I mean, it is spandexy, so it actually can stretch to go over me but I don't know um what do you think does it go should I have it should I not have it should I have the two together should I have one by itself should I just chuck both of them back in the bag and send them back uh to Nadine West what do you think um you can see there's more more of that skin just oh, look at all that if I could just cut all that off I'd be almost a normal person um Anyways, tell me what you think. Back. Oops, try not to trip over my stuff. Okay, so I'm backed up again. What are you thinking? With it, without it, both of them, but not together, neither one of them together or not. I really do. I need your opinions, guys. I value your opinions. Next one in just a second. All right, and exactly what I was afraid of, guys. This shirt does not fit because there is no give to it whatsoever. And with that apron of skin that I have, it just will not pull down over that. Um, it's just too tight. And it's too bad because it does go well with this pair of pants. And this pair of pants is so, so soft. So what I'm likely going to have to do is try to take this pair of pants with me to the store match it up with something if I'm going to keep these pants. I cannot keep the shirt. It's just, there's nothing, there's no give and it's just too tight. Um, but it's a cute shirt. And that's why I had originally gone uh, 2X is because of this extra skin, which, you know, uh, makes me actually, I mean, see if, if I don't have to move and if I can stretch up a rope, you know, it's not too bad, right? <gasps> if I don't have to breathe. But unfortunately I have to breathe and I can't stand like that. So, um, darn, because I actually kind of like the shirt, but, you know, I can't wear it when it's just too small. All right, let me uh, take, did, did you see the pants, though? These are super, super soft. I mean, like, butter soft. They are really, really, really comfortable. So, they're kind of baggy, um, but really comfortable. So, let me get these off, and I will be right back with you, and we'll talk about it. All right, if you see what I'm talking about, I wear things, this is way too big, and um, I was just wearing it around the house. I need to actually donate it because, I mean, I could fit another couple people in here. I tend to wear things that are much too large to try to disguise all that uh, extra skin. However, then I end up looking shorter and fatter because, you know, it's so big um, on me. So I need to have something between that shirt that I couldn't even breathe in and this. Somewhere in, you know, between would probably be a good fit. Um, I didn't realize when I put this on earlier, I threw it on to go get my husband at 7 this morning. Well, at like 6.30 this morning to pick him up at 7. And um, yeah, I didn't realize how much too large it had gotten. I've lost another since um, we moved or since right before the move, I've lost another, 
uh, six or seven pounds um, because I haven't been well lately and you know all the extra activity as well so not that that is enough to make this big of a difference but um, yeah this is just way too big this is gonna get chucked in the giveaways and but see these pants they're starting to I don't you probably can't see but starting to get holes in them from cats scratching and wearing thin so anyways let's get turn around and we will sit and talk Alrighty, so the top, the uh, Dusty Rose, which I think is this one, yep, we know we can't keep this one because it, if it, ha if it had some stretch to it, I would have liked to have kept this. I like the style and I like the color, I just can't, I mean, I can't keep it, it has no stretch and if I tried to sit down in it and all this spread out, it would rip it. Uh, it was $26.99 for that. Mm. Pink, jasmine, top jasmine. Where is that? Okay, so this one, I believe, that I am on the fence about, that you guys have to tell me whether or not to keep. I think it's this one. Um is $25.99. So we're gonna put this in the maybe and this isn't in the nope. All right. Um and then the dark mauve top called Riley. Dark mauve. Set this. Riley's my child's name spelled different though. Yep, this is the dark mauve. You guys need to tell me about this one. Youch. $36.99. Well, you guys need to let me know. Is it something that I should keep? Should I not keep? Is it, does it fit right? Is it too small? Um, I mean, what, what are your thoughts about how it fits, the color, um, the price? <laughs> I'm, I'm really counting on you guys to tell me. I'm going to have to put this uh, video up pretty quick because whether or not I keep the stuff, you know, um, I have a time limit on these. Okay. The multi, it's called, the top's called Emery. And it's, is that this? I think that's this one, which we also know was too tight. The tie-dye. Can you imagine paying $36.99 for tie-dye? My, okay, guys. You know, I'm, I'm not up on fashion trends. I mean, it it is cute. I like it. I wish it fit, but not at $36.99 probably. Well, I don't know. But I wouldn't wear it enough because I get too hot. So I'm going to have to call this a no anyways because it doesn't fit right. Um, okay. Bottom. Okay, so these bottoms. Yep, that's this. That they're so soft. I mean, they are, mm, they are really comfortable and really soft. Um, they are. Also $36.99. Yeah, ouch. Guys, tell me. Is that like what kind of a price do you I mean, they're dressy to me, they're kind of dressier, even though they're like a a legging type. I mean they're not like leggings, they're leggings I, I think of as being tight, um, tighter, but they're that like feel in style material. But I think they look kind of dressy. And I don't have anything. They almost feel like velvety, but they're they're not velvet. Um, they're like a spandexy material. And it would go probably well with this. I, I don't know. You'd have to look at the colors together. Do you think they'd go? I think they go. Um, all right. Opinions, please. Um, then the dark blue leggings, the you know jeggings. Okay, those pants, what did I tell you the pants were? They're $35.49, those pants. I think I give you the wrong price. Um, the jeggings with the, you know, distressed, 
$36.49. I really kind of expected that. Um, hey, look, they got like lined pockets, like a kind of a plaid lined pocket. Interesting. All right. Um, a little detail that you don't even see, but it's kind of cool. And the thing is, they have front pockets. I do not have, own a pair of pants at the moment that have a front pocket. And I really like that about them. It's worth it just for that, mostly. Um, they are a little tighter than I would like in the waist, which gives me that muffin top kind of thing going on. But um, they could stretch out a little bit in the elastic. Um, in my experience is things like this uh, can stretch. Um, I don't know. I'm putting that in the maybe pile. I kind of like them, but yet they're a little tighter than I would like. Like I said, it gives me that muffin top. Um, so I'm not... Okay, the dress, it's uh, Melissa A-line dress in gray mist. $44.99. Hmm. All right, guys, you got to tell me what you're thinking. Again, I do not own a dress at all, not one, but is that really the dress for me? You saw it on me. Again, I would need shapewear under that because I got the... All right, one of the pair of earrings are $14.99. And they're saying there's a bracelet. This is a necklace. This is not a bracelet. I got two pair of earrings, not a bracelet. The necklace is $24.99. And then it says other $14.99. But what is other, Jamie? Is that these dangly earrings? I'm gonna have to contact them because it claims that I have another item that isn't even here. Um, it says, earrings, Ruthie, necklace, Danita, Bracelet Dottie, as you have seen, I don't have other Jasmine, which I assume that has to be these, and then the scarf, and it is the scarf is $22.99 that I don't even know how to wear, and um. Yeah, so I, instead of a bracelet, I got an extra pair of earrings. So I have to make sure that they know because I don't want to get charged for something I don't have. So that I'm going to have to contact them about. Um, so other, that has to be these for $14.99. I'm not sure that um, a pair of earmuffs are worth $14.99 to me. So I think I'm going to put that in the no. All right, guys, um, let me know what you think, what I should keep, what I shouldn't keep. Should I keep anything? Should I keep nothing? Uh, opinions, please. I really need them, and I need them in a, in a big hurry, so I'll, I would imagine I'll put this one up tomorrow. Um, this scarf might look pretty good with this dress. I don't even know how to wear it, and it's not really something I would want to keep on while I was, say, at dinner or something. I, I don't know, guys. Help me here. Help me. All right, that is Nadine West this time. Um, I do like some of it. Um, I mean, I like all of it not on me. Um, but, again, I don't know what to keep and what to send back. Please help me with that. Um, hmm. All right, so please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, we do have a giveaway that um, will be 
the contest will happen pretty soon. Hopefully, uh, we're at like 164 subscribers. I need 200 to be giving away this mat this uh, vintage TV looking screen magnifier that works really, really well. That's a $40 value. Um, there's a video showing that in detail uh, that's already up on the channel. And as soon as I hit 200, we will be doing uh, the contest for that. So please uh, subscribe and please, um, you know, try to get other people you know to just to subscribe so we can give this away pretty soon. Uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching the video and listening to me babble and hopefully helping me decide if I should keep anything or not. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.